when I saw the ball hit the pocket and I saw all the kind of go down, I just put my arms up and screamed as loud as I could scream. To Dave D'Entremont, the significance of his victory at the 1996 Brunswick World Tournament of Champions is quite basic. What it means to me is, you know, the, the 60000 the boat, uh, you know, the, the incentive money, all those things in time could go away. Uh, that title and the trophy, that's going to be there for the rest of my life. With five career titles now, Dave has established himself as one of the top players on the tour. There was a time, however, when it appeared that Dave's career would never get off the ground. In 1989, seven years after joining the PBA, Dave made his first television finals. He was the top seed on a show that was part of a very bizarre sequence of events. Very bizarre. We have a power outage here in Pinole Valley, California. The lights went out in the... You know, I finished second there and, and went home, but I, I had lost 30 pounds in a matter of a month. And I went home four weeks later and found out I had pneumonia plus a lung infection. So it was pretty scary, not knowing from week to week, you know, what was going to happen, how he was going to feel, if he was going to make it from one stop to the next. For the first time, I thought about my own mortality, and it was quite a blow for me. With Sylvia's help, Dave was able to regain his strength and energy for the game. His earnings rose steadily. He made over $100,000 and won his first career tournament in 1992. In 1995, he would win back-to-back -back titles and finish as a runner-up for Player of the Year. Now, with a major title to his credit, his status among the game's elite is secure. His confidence level has caught up to his talent level. Winning really makes a big difference. It makes you feel good about yourself. A relaxed Dave D'Entremont, once known only for his power game, now pursues a bright future in a sport he clearly enjoys. As far as, as the game, uh, I still love it, and as long as I can make a decent living at it, I'm going to keep doing it.